Now we're going to have a look at how to start creating our BIM model, our 3D model, such as using the, the wall tools to trace. Now from the previous video I've just removed some of the excess information around the outside and that's just speed it up so when we're zooming in and out or doing our work it's not going to slow down too much. Now always try to think carefully or cleverly about how you approach your work so you're not creating more work for yourself. What we see here is that we've got two apartments, two units, connected by a common stair. What that means is that we've probably, and we do in terms of this design, have further units, number three or number four, and maybe number five, number six, directly above this. So rather than drawing all of it, that would be a waste, we're just going to focus on one of these units and then we're going to later duplicate or mirror a copy to create the other one which we see is an identical copy. So therefore we need to understand the relationship between these dividing walls. Where do we start? Where do we stop? I'm going to start just by using a line tool. Of course I could use a grid tool as well. Just to define the midpoint of the wall or the division between the apartments. So where would that be? Ideally that's going to be in the, the middle of the wall in terms of a grid line uh, but not necessarily in terms of how we're going to represent it. So for right now I'm just going to draw a, a very simple short line across this brick wall. We see that this is a 270 brick wall uh, or a cavity brick wall meaning 110, 50 mil, 110. And then we're going to use that to draw another line up the middle. And that's just helping us to define our midpoint. Now I didn't necessarily need to draw that line in order to do this, but then we can select our grid and drag it across to that midpoint. Zoom in enough just so I can see that, make sure I'm in the right place, and then we can delete that. So that's on the middle of this, and of course we can do the same thing with this. drag. Now we don't necessarily need to um, do that the whole slow process. If we know that the cavity is 50 mil, then we know the middle of that will be 25. So the middle and middle of walls we've now represented with these grids. Uh, why do they say 4 and 5 instead of 1 and 2? Just because it's the 4th and 5th grid that I have placed. Um, we can of course go into these and change the numbering system to number one, number two, or A, B, C, if we want to, to be able to, um, I can't think and talk at the same time, so, uh, to be able to represent these accurately. So that's the start. We've set up our grid. Now we could set up a grid in the other orientation as well, but for this sort of a project, realistically at the moment, uh, the horizontal grid is the only one that really matters. What do we do next? We could start to re-represent that wall and try to show it as accurately as possible. So we're going to go into our wall tool. We're going to then open up our info box settings or dialog box. And then we can start to change or choose which wall tool that we want to use. In this case, we're not going to use the basic because that would be one simple shape. We're going to use the composite structure and then we're going to go into the composite structure. Again, this is the standard template information that we're getting from Archicad 21. We haven't started to create our own ones here. So we're going to look at to see what's available. And if, if it's fine, if we don't need to change it, we won't. If we do need to start creating our own, I'll show you how to do that. So BW05, BW brick wall 05, that's a 270 cavity brick wall. Underneath we see a, a 270 cavity brick which is rendered. Uh, we're not going to worry about that one at the moment, we'll just use this method. We see that it's called 270, it actually is 270, whereas if we go into the other one it's called 270 but it's actually 280. Why is that? Because we're not calculating or allowing for the render thickness when we're talking about the thickness of the wall. This is a common architectural thing. Uh, we'll, we'll commonly talk about a, a brick wall, sorry, a, a concrete block wall maybe being a 200 series, but it's actually 190, and that's to allow for an extra 10 mil of mortar when we join them together. So we just have to understand the increment, the structural increment, and 
in this case, that's the structural width rather than the finished width. Anyway, getting a bit complicated. Let's make this wall a bit taller. We could make this linked. So we'll choose the next story being our roof story. And we'll make this zero. And so that's going to automatically make our wall three meters high. And that's based on our story settings. And we looked at that last time. We're not going to need to worry too much about the rest of this at the moment. We'll just leave as it is. We don't want the wall to become thicker. We want it to stay the same width. We also don't want the wall to be sloped. We want it to stay straight. So everything else in these settings is fine. We'll press OK. When we draw in Archicad, we want to draw... I'll use the single wall tool to explain this... in a anti-clockwise direction. We could switch the reference side, but for now we want to keep it the same. And in this case, we're using the outside line of our wall as our reference point. What does that mean? When I draw, let's start drawing so you can see what I'm talking about. The reference line is slightly thicker, slightly darker than the other line. The further away that I move, I think that becomes a little bit more pronounced. In this case, we're not going to do all the way around the building. We're just going to do these party walls, these division walls. Now I could extend this down here. And then similarly, I'll continue around. Now if I can't find that point, I can always stretch it later. Now where do I go here? This is a bit of a strange one, isn't it? I'm going to bring this one across. Now instead of drawing this the same way, I could do that. I could also change this wall and change this wall. Sorry, I'm going to hold shift to be able to select both of these at the same time. Click, click, holding shift. So I've selected both of them. I'm going to go into the setting and instead of now being using the outside edge as the reference line, I'm going to use the center as the reference line so that it lines up with my grid line. Now what you'll find is if you've already drawn it, it's going to draw it off of that point. So that can be a problem. We're just also going to turn off true line weight for a minute just so I can see this a lot more finely. And then I'm going to move and drag this into place. So that's in the middle of my grid line. Do the same thing. Now this one's not on a grid line, so I'm not going to use center line. I'm going to keep using the outside line as the reference line. But this one is on a grid line, so I will use the grid line to position it. Now I could be consistent and use a brick wall on the outside, and I will for now just to keep it simple, but we might change the shape or the materiality of this wall later. Now sometimes you might find it hard to use some of your functions. In this case, I'm trying to use the pickup settings um, which is the Alt tool, it looks like an eyedropper. While we've got Trace on, uh, Archicad can become confused as to what it is I want to trace. And if the wall doesn't go blue, it's because it doesn't know what I'm trying to click on. So we see it's blue there. If you're having trouble with that, sometimes if you turn off the trace reference, it will make it much easier for you to find what you're doing. Now, I deliberately did these out of order. So when I now go to draw it again, I need to be thoughtful about how I draw this. So I don't draw from right to left because that's going to be drawing in a clockwise direction. I need to draw in an anti-clockwise direction. So I have to remember that I'll need to start back over here in order to make those reference lines be consistent. So if I want to change something later, it'll work. Now, because I'm on top of this, again, I will be drawing in a anti-clockwise direction, which means it is right to left. So it's not necessarily left to right, right to left, it's about clockwise or anti-clockwise. Now I don't need to measure this, that's a bit of a strange measurement as well, so we'll have to maybe change that later. 9581, that's not really good. Uh, we'll have a talk about that later and to explain what that means. But importantly, the angle is 180, so we know that that's straight. So now we've got walls that are wrapping around our whole building our whole unit, our whole apartment, and those 
um, division walls or party walls are centered on our grid lines. In the next video, we're going to have a look at how to add doors and windows into these, and we're just going to try to replicate what we've already got here, or maybe use a slightly different variety, but basically in the same position. And then we'll also talk about how and why we might change the wall types to a different type of wall, and what that means both in ARCHICAD and also uh, just touch briefly on what that means in terms of construction.